Minutemen aren't so bad. You just have to go over and basically take away all their equipment and <laughs> give them proper gear because their gear is terrible. I think later on when you get Ballistic Weave, you can like give all the Minutemen Ballistic Weave militia outfits so they still look badass. But they can take a, a beating. Right, that's three, four, five, six, seven power I need for here. So what we're going to do with generators? Oh, I can build a nuke. I didn't realise I could build it. I'm saving that. I don't want to build a nuke here. That's a little overkill. <sighs> or do I? Shall I build a nuclear power plant? No, it seems a, w a bit of a waste at this location. Let's build a standard power plant. And we'll uh, we'll just stick it here for now. Oh no, we won't. Let's. What are our? Can I stick it in this little room? Will that fit? Will the ten? Oh, it won't. Will it? No, it won't. Five. Let's stick a five. Oh yeah, the the idea that the Minutemen can stand up to super mutants and what have you is laughable. They don't have a cat else chance. Um, but I, I think that kind of makes sense canonically. I mean, they are human versus the worst that the Wasteland has to throw at them. So I suppose it makes sense that they're not spectacularly powerful. It would be nice if they could win a fight once in a while, I suppose. <laughs> Are you going to be awkward? What is with this bloody wall? Yeah, it does start to wear a bit thin when, you know, it's like, right, fine, Preston, you say you're the saviour of the Commonwealth and yet you've got me doing all the running around killing things. When are the Minutemen actually going to do something? That actually, there you go, there's a nice idea for a mod. Never mind making the Minutemen tougher. Make them actually do stuff. Make them actually go out and fight. If a settlement gets attacked, dispatch a unit of Minutemen. Right, so one, I need seven, so I'll just build another one of these. One of these in here, just to keep all my power in one location. Yeah, but they are the underdogs. I mean, they're, they're written that way. They're written to be just like normal, everyday folks doing their best. And it, yeah. Let's leave them a little. Oh, I meant missing power. For homeless, unemployed, missing power. Right, everything's powered now. Good. Those laser muskets are terrible. They are absolutely terrible. I don't know what they are thinking with those, to be honest. Don't want to miss out a couple of bog standard turrets to bring the defense level up. Oh yeah, right at the start. Yeah, yeah, a bit hard to forget. <laughs> it's like, yes, see that? I think that was one of the criticisms I heard of the game, was that the... the the way you get thrown in like that is ridiculous. You are literally five minutes, you know, into the game, and boom, Deathclaw and full suit of power armor. What were they thinking? Stop snapping the wrong way. Right, you don't snap. Yeah, you snap. Snap side on. There's already a scaffolding there. Why are you being awkward? 
Fine, you want to do it that way? No, you just want to stack scaffolding. Stupid thing. Fine, I'll just add a new one. Yeah, so one of the complaints I remember was that you you picked up um, you picked up a suit of power armor straight away. Yeah, but you only get one core. But if you know what you're doing or you you're paying moderate amounts of attention, you can tear that death claw to pieces in no time uh, with just the one claw. No, no, I don't think it's an excuse. I think it's just they're written as um, the the struggling party they've been massacred at Quincy um, they don't have the wherewithal I mean you got to remember but at the time you start playing the game Preston is the only real Minuteman left that's out and about in the Commonwealth everyone else is either in hiding or dead um, so Preston isn't really looking to regear the Minuteman he's, he's just roaming around trying to keep these last few survivors from Quincy alive Quincy was, yeah, I mean, you. there's a little bit of lore information about the, what happened there. There's, a, you know, there's some info, but it's, there's, there's just not a lot to it. There's no real kickback. With those raiders? Hey, Ludacris, how are you doing, sir? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've Oh, you need a new gun. Do I have a new gun for you? That's ever so slightly disturbing, John. What, what, what's that about? <laughs> I'm good, sir. I'm good. I, I was watching your stream last night for as long as I could before my, my brain said, no, you need to go to bed, you fool. You've got children that have to go to school. <laughs> I need to get him a new weapon. What have I got that's got a silly rate of fire? The temptation to give him the, 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 the rocket launcher. No, man, I was just tired. I was like, I had to be up early tomorrow, this morning because the I youngest had a school trip. Our, our little man, William, he, he's at nursery. That's, you know, where, the level he's at at the moment. And they've taken him... On a school trip today. I didn't even know the nurseries did school trips. So there we go. But yeah, miss. I mean, I went into Quincy by accident. I didn't realise I was there. And if you can stumble into something that's that important to the, the game story by accident, I think you've they've missed a mark there. <laughs> it's 4am your time, Cheesy. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, my time. Um, uh, can he wear combat armor over that suit, do you reckon? Should we find out? Left leg, right arm. Right leg. Do I have a left arm? I don't have a left arm. I don't have a left arm. Oh, wait, this will do. Left arm, right arm, right leg. Oh, it's left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. I'll take the metal chest piece for him. Left leg. Just wanted to trade a few things. Sure. Naked ghoul. Oh god, not having that. Oh, 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 gross. Um, yes, road leathers. Thank goodness. Something for him to wear. Oof. Look at that ghoul booty. Let's trade. Okay. 
You're a disturbingly naked man, Wiseman. Oh, that's better. Phew. Right. Um, so, right. Now that I've met the needs of the settlement, they will start upgrading everything. Um, <laughs> shall, I, shall I stick the sack hood? <laughs> sack hood on the ghouls. <laughs> yeah, I... That was kind of a, a letdown for me. I did not expect to have to build the castle settlement myself. I thought that Preston might go. I want to trade. A this few is things. the Minutemen's base of operations, sure so we're going to go do stuff. Um, I. Mm, they just didn't seem to do a lot. There, hide your terrifying ghoul face behind that mask. Right. Okay, so you can't shoot stuff, but you can use a water pump. I don't have a farm plot on this site, do I? Yes, I do. I have one there. Is anyone actually using it? Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, you've no idea the relief I do. Right, back to Sanctuary to turn in the other one. I'm sorry to hear that, Miss MX. M MX, MX, what is wrong with me? Miss S, Miss MSX, there is an S in there, you spanner. Yeah, you, Assaultrons, bugger off, I hate you. Cannot stand Assaultrons. Not because they're, I mean, they are dangerous. But that head laser is just so annoying because it tracks and it does so much damage. <sighs> I don't know how to thank you for oh, that. You're sat over here being fat. You're welcome. It's good to know we can count on the Minutemen when we need them. Heads up. What's up? <clears throat> so, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm not. You're a terrible shot. shot. You know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the capital wasteland. What were you doing in the capital wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Now, obviously, if you're a Fallout follower, you know McCready from this little convers this little thing he just said there. You know who he is. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs, and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. Makes sense, I suppose. Nothing makes sense anymore. You just roll with the oh, punches. Oh, easy, dude. Anyway, when I Got hit angry 16, all of a sudden. I ended up wandering <laughs> the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with the caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. You'll see the so notifications like I'm getting in the top left about the settlement improvements in the slog. So there you have it. That's basically because I just... Nutshell updated that settlement so everything's getting set. I'm not flirting with McCready. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you've earned it. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing can be further from the truth. 
Being alone scares the heck out of me. Oh, he's definitely. 